Faya, the Florida Interactive Entertainment Academy. Don't just get into the gaming industry, lead it. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. What you doing? I'm Matt Reed. I'm the production track here at Faya. What you just saw was a slick marketing video made by our marketing department. Full of fast cuts and a oons, oons, oons soundtrack. It was intended to get you excited about coming to the school. But you know what? The marketing department doesn't go here. I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera, let you get a real sense of what it's like to go here. So sometimes you're going to see their footage, which looks like this. And other times you see my footage, professional quality grade footage, that looks like this. The the idea is to make a video game! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go check it out. So although a lot of people know about Fire, how many people know how to pronounce it? Some people say it like this. Fiaia. That's what Fire? Fia? Wait, it could be Fiaia? Other people say it like this. Ah, uh, Fiera. That's it, Fiera. The correct way to pronounce it is just like this. Fire. Got it? It stands for the Florida Interactive Entertainment Academy. It's a graduate program within the School of Film and Digital Media here at the University of Central Florida. It's where you can learn to become a leading programmer, producer, and artist in industries such as video games and film. And the best part is you get a fully accredited master's degree in just 16 months. One of the things that makes our faculty so unique is they have tons of industry experience on big AAA titles. Altogether, they shipped over 40 games and films. I had 15 years in games. I started off as a programmer. Uh, I moved over to become a game designer. Uh, I was a producer. Uh, I've actually done some art direction before. Uh, I ran a small studio in Pennsylvania. So I've gotten to see almost every aspect of game development. It's a nice feeling knowing that all the things that you're learning here are all the things that you're going to be using in the industry and that it's not just, oh, they know it from the textbook just like you're learning it, but they've been there, they've done that. Uh, so when you go to try to teach a producer how to manage programmers, how to manage artists, how to manage game designers, how to organize a project, I think you have a pretty good experience base to draw from because I've done almost everybody else's job. I've been down that path as far as production techniques and ways to maximize efficiency, knowing where to, to concentrate your energy, being able to show the students tricks of the trade, really. I think the students get to tap into my experience with problem solving more than anything. Um, pretty much anything they've, they ever encounter, I've seen at some point, and I can put them on the right track all the time they're telling me. How are you able to solve that problem and you weren't here? And you know, just they'll paste me some little snippet of information and it'll just trigger something and I'll just tell them, I don't even tell them what the solution is, I just tell them kind of where I would start looking for it. It was a big experience going to class and everything I was learning was applicable to what I wanted to do. But it just comes from experience, it's, it's not magic. So all in all, these guys know a ton and can usually answer any question you throw at them. Except the problem with that is they also think they're really good at video games. Like Ron here thinks he's the master at NBA Live. So I'm like, okay, Weaver, let's go. Pick up your sticks, man. So we picked him up. You know what? You know what? I took him to school. So I guess they can call me the bus driver now. Uh, uh. I'm still the bus driver. And now, guess what? It's time for a commercial break starring me. Dude, I'm so glad we get to do this for a living. I mean, we're game designers. And game programmers. Yeah! You guys done uh, finishing level three? Yeah, we're about to submit it. Awesome! Yeah. Tighten up the graphics on level four, too. I you know guys, you want it. You guys you rock. rock. You Hell guys yeah, rock. Yeah, man. You guys hear about that new game coming out? What? There's a new game? No way. Yeah, yeah there is. Tell me, man. But we can't play it yet. Why? Because, because you haven't, haven't designed, designed it yet. One of the cool things about FIA is it tries to mimic the game design process as closely as possible. It has a very project-based, hands-on curriculum. 
Right now, we're standing in one of our concept rooms. We kind of use this room as the birthplace for all our games. You meet with your team, and you flush out your game design. So, having a project-based curriculum forces you to learn by experience, and that's far more powerful than reading it in a textbook and going, yeah, okay, I think I understand that. No, do it, use it, create something with it. Now you understand it. Just kind of, you know, they pick you up and toss you into the swimming pool and uh, say, like, all right, start paddling. The FIRE curriculum has three main tracks of specialties. You can study to become a producer, programmer, or artist. Prototyping is one of the key skills you learn in your first semester as you work on game teams with other students. At the same time, you're also taking core classes based on your specialty. In your second and third semesters, you work collectively on one large game while continuing to master your core skills. When we get into the second semester and we get the larger project, uh, I think that teaches them a difference in scale, and that sounds really simple, you know, well, it's bigger, yeah. Well, bigger uh, is, is a lot more complicated. And everyone depends on everyone else, too. So if one person falls behind, that, um, that really will throw everyone else behind. So you actually get that experience of having people depend on you, and you depend on other people in return. Your fourth semester allows you to do either a capstone project or a group internship. So right now, I'm working on The Blob. It's a big game that you're going to do your second and third semester here. Right now, we are in production. We start in pre-production and soon go to alpha and beta. These are the same processes that you'll find out in industry. So it takes a lot of hard work, and I'm usually here really late. And because of that, my phone doesn't ring anymore. My friends and family don't call. And I've gained 15 pounds, thanks to a little culinary invention called a Hot Pocket. It's delicious. It's about, it's about yay big. Pepperonis in it. <laughs> One of the things I like most when I came to FIA is I met a lot of people that like the same things I do, the same kind of music, movies, and video games. Right now we're hanging out in the Gamers Lounge, this is where we normally come to watch movies and play games. Uh, the cool thing is we had the NFL Sunday ticket last semester, we came in here and watched football games together, and then during Lauren projects and we had to work over the weekends on Sunday, we'd come and always take a break for Family Guy. FIA is a small program. It is a program where the students and the faculty get to know each other very well. It's like a home, it's like a family in that way, and that's really the best way to work. The camaraderie here is just phenomenal. Everyone has a great time developing games. We go out, hang out all the time. Lunches every day, dinners every day. Everyone's friends with everyone else. So. It's personable. It comes with some new ground to cover, especially if you've been used to large campuses where, you know, you kind of get, get melted into, you know, the mold. Yeah, I've definitely made a lot of good friends here. Everybody's great. They're awesome people. I know all the students in the school uh, individually. Uh, I'll go out to lunch with them or we'll go, uh, you know, have a Pepsi after work or we'll go play uh, Magic the Gathering uh, at, at lunch break. Um, I think knowing people as people as opposed to knowing them as the students, uh, you understand what motivates them, you understand what interests them, and you can tailor what you teach them and, and how you emphasize things based on them as an individual rather than as a nameless student. Whether, whether you're from Connecticut, you're from Georgia, or whether you're from Venezuela, Everybody here is from a different walk of life, but it's amazing how everybody shares really similar interests here. A bunch of geeks, they're nerds. They, they, they play video games, they have the same interests I do. We get them all addicted to magic cards. I mean, they're the people that, you know, you have to carefully seek out in high school or college and places like that. And you guys have done the, the, all that work for us and congregated them in one spot and have a sit next to them. I mean, it's so easy to make friends here. We also have the professionalism here as well, um, where People know what they have to do and they get their stuff done in time and then we you know, play video games for a couple hours and, and then go home and, and, and sleep so we can come back and do it all over again. Fridays are for workshops, speakers and field trips. These days help us better understand what it takes to get into the gaming and film industries. The reason we're here is to take good students and turn them into great game developers. Uh, it's not just about recruiting them and getting them into the program but it's also about placing them. We don't feel that our job is done until they're productive working in the industry. All right, so that wraps it up. That was your inside look at FIA. Just in case you weren't paying attention or snoozing, a couple key points I want to recap on. First of all, it's a fully accredited master's degree in 16 months, a faculty with tons of industry experience, a hands-on project-based curriculum, and a state-of-the-art building. 
So I'm gonna have to let you go. My time is up. I'm already about three days overdue on a project. So I'll see you later. Take care. I'm absolutely in the, in the right place. And I hope that many more that really are passionate about games and have unique creative visions and just want to be part of a team that will be encouraged to come to file. If you're willing to work hard and you love games, um, you can definitely make a career out of it. And so my advice to them is go here. Really, this is the place to go. When I uh, saw some of the uh, faculty actually playing video games with each other in their offices, and I'm like, this is where I'm meant to be. If your goals are to get out and get in the industry, get a job, and really work on these kind of things, come here. <laughs>